All right, how's it going, y'all? Today we're in another Mac tutorial, and this one's very similar to my last one, and this is on how to set up Macs for screen sharing for the local network. There's also a great way to do this using iMessage, and it's really nice for remote diagnostics, but that's gonna be for another video. This one's how to set up your Mac for a remote connection for anybody on your local network. This means nobody even has to be logged into the Mac, though it does have to be on, obviously, for the screen share to be initiated, and it's just super easy to set up. It also has some really nice features, such as remote copy, basically a copy and paste for text and stuff, and even drag and drop file copies. So I can literally, from my screen, drag a file from the remote computer to my computer, and it will just do a download over it. It's just incredibly intuitive and easy to use, and it is so nice to have. It's great, especially if you've got a laptop and a desktop, and something might be on the desktop that you need, you can just remote desktop into it and grab it super quickly. Also, in theory, this should be able to work over a VPN connection, though I've not tried it out, so if I do get that working, I'll let y'all know as well. All right, and so without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. I'm currently on my laptop right here, and so all we have to do is go into the Apple System Preferences, and we're gonna go down into Sharing. Then, first option is just screen sharing. So we're just gonna tick the screen sharing box and we can start configuring things. We can say all users have access to be able to screen share or just administrators. It's up to you and you can also go through and add in specific users if you'd like to. It's really customizable and it makes it really easy to get exactly the case you want. But for most people, it's probably fine for all administrators to be able to connect because honestly, most people only have one or two accounts. And so now that that's enabled, we can also go in and look at computer settings, but there's not too much here. You can set up VNC viewers. VNC allows you to use Linux boxes, and I bet there's a Windows client to do this, but I've not messed around with this too much. And you can also say anyone's allowed to request permission, but we can just go ahead and disable those. And so now with this enabled, it's incredibly easy. I'm just gonna go ahead and switch back to my desktop. All right, so now I'm within my desktop and we're just gonna go ahead and open up a new finder window. And we're gonna go down and we're going to go down into network. Select network and we're going to select the MacBook Pro. And we're just gonna go ahead and click screen share. I've already logged in so it's probably not gonna ask for authentication, but just like that, it has already got us up and running and we're able to log in. If you've not signed in before, it's going to ask you to sign in and you can just use the login credentials that you use to sign in. Note, there are no spaces in that. So if your username is Will Space Yarborough, type in Will Yarbrough, no spaces. And so now that we've done that, I can also sh show you a great feature here. So this is my MacBook Pro. All right, and so now I'm just gonna go into Finder. Say I just want this totals.csv on my computer. I'm just gonna click it and drag it. And as you can see right here, boom, it just downloads it. It is that easy to transfer files. And now <laughs> it also happens to be on my desktop because the desktop for both my laptop and my Mac are both synced. So it is just that quick and easy to do file transfers over it. And it is so nice to be able to grab files and just go into the finder and grab them there. All right, well, that's it for this tutorial. I think that was probably my quickest tutorial ever, but there's honestly not much to setting this up. Go ahead and leave any other tutorials you'd like to see me make in the comments below. And if you wanna hire me, there's a link in the description. All right, have a good one, bye.